Hey guys, V here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install these Lian Lee Li Strimmer Plus RGB cables. So, these cables come with the cables themselves, controller, all the wiring, and anything else you might need. So I'm gonna walk you through all the steps, so stay tuned. So I got the GPU cable and the 24 pin motherboard cable for this PC. So basically they already come pre-assembled. The only thing you need to do is connect them and then connect the controller. So let's get right into that. First thing you wanna do is disconnect the cables from your GPU and then go ahead and plug in the GPU cables into the new cables. So you technically can use this with only an eight pin. Uh, these can be removed if you want, or you can just leave them there just in case. Um, all you're gonna do is just plug in only one set of these into your GPU. So let's go ahead and plug all these up. There we go, they're both plugged in. And now we're gonna go ahead and feed this to the back. All right, so once you got everything uh, tucked away in the back, then you just take this one, bend it the way that you want to, and basically plug it in. I think the easiest way to do this is to plug both of them, or all of them, all at the same time, just because there isn't too much flexibility to move around. So it is a, a bit tedious. Okay. We got that. Now, if you have a vertical GPU, like I just installed here, um, with this GPU cable, you are going to have to flip everything around to the other side because this plugs in like this, unless you plan on running it through the front like that. But I wanna run it up, and so I gotta flip everything. I'm gonna show you that real quick. Okay, so these end pieces, first they slide, just like that. Now that it's slid, what you're gonna have to do is start taking out each and every one of these off. So just like that. And then these clear ones, they just pop out, just like that. And then again, this last one, you just slide it and pop it out. And now the RGB is separated. So now we can focus on flipping everything on this thing and just kind of flip it the other way. So the way I'm gonna do this is once I take it off, I'm just going to set it back down exactly where it was and start putting these cables back in. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Of course, we can slide it around later. These are a bit finicky and a little hard to get in, but it's okay. It's all in the name of aesthetics. That one's done now. Gotta flip this next clear one. And so basically this will get flipped right there. And start pushing these ones back in. And you kind of get the point, so I'll just put this on like a time lapse and go from there. There we go, so that one's done. Now, when you go attach this, you're also gonna have to push all these bottom cables into that. So we're gonna do that next. Basically, just grab one at a time. 
and try to push it in. Oh, I'm pushing it in the wrong one. Got it. Bam. So, just like that. And just go ahead and do this side now. And you're done. Okay, so we got it on. Um, I left it a little tighter just to get this like U shape because when it goes in, it's gonna be curved anyways and I don't want the cables all weird. So now, all you gotta do is slide this back into here, line it up, and then just snap it in place like that. That's good. And then do the same for the other side. Now you just install it just like you were installing it last time. Just find a way to how you want to run it and do it that way. I'm going to try to run it out of here and then just kind of turn it and twist it and then plug it in the back right there. So it will look kind of cool crisscross like that when the lighting is in effect. So we'll see how that looks at the end. But oh, look at that. I guess I forgot to clip this in. The next step is the 24 pin. So go ahead and get it out. Okay. So I was able to pull that out. And basically take your 24 pin and same thing, just plug it directly in here. There we go. And then shove this to the back along with the cable for the controller and then again bend this how you can how you want I want as much of this sh exposed as possible just like that and I think that's good now we're gonna move to the back and I'm gonna show you how to connect this controller so now we're in the rear and these are the two cables that we need to plug in to the controller one quick thing to note this controller only comes with the 24 pin so if you just get the gpu cable you won't get this what you're gonna get is a cable like this and it's just a three pin rg addressable rgb connector that would plug in to your three pin addressable um, rgb either on your motherboard or something like this I have this because I have lots of uh, RGBs in this. So this is a splitter that came with my Touch Aqua fans. So anyways, we're not gonna go ahead and use this because we want to plug everything into the controller and then, um, you know, we'll go from there. All right, so you get your controller. There are two connections up top and obviously they are for each of these. So you just get it. This is a 24 pin. You can't plug them in wrong. They only fit in one. And then you get the other one and plug it in there. And that's it, they're plugged in. Now there is three separate connections on this side of the controller and they give you three different options. So you can use something like this, that's the addressable RGB connector um, to plug into your addressable uh, splitter or motherboard connection. And this would just plug in to this center one right here. And then this one is your main one that you wanna worry about. This is the SATA connection. So this would plug into your SATA cable, which is right there that comes off of the power supply unit. This would give this controller power to be able to light up those cables. So this is what we are going to use. I'm plugging in the addressable one as well, just to have it plugged in because you can switch between the two if you ever want to. So this one goes on this side on the far left of the controller and that's plugged in and then they also give you a cable 
that looks like this, which is again, addressable RGB. And this would plug into here. And we're not gonna leave this plugged in because I don't need it, but you can plug in more of your RGB fans or more cables or whatever you want into this plug. So basically, if this were a RGB fan connection right here, then you would take it and you would just piggyback it off of there. And then the fan would also light up using this controller. So that's pretty cool. But we're not gonna go ahead and use that because we have this big controller right up there. All you have to do now is take your SATA connection if this is the route you're going and there's a SATA connection and I'm gonna plug it into the SATA cable which is right there. Hopefully this focuses in on this. So anyways, you just line it up the proper way. There's only one way you can plug this in because it's an L shape and that's plugged in. Go ahead and tuck your cables and everything. Also, I don't know if you noticed, I took a little bit of time and uh, I folded these uh, GPU cables a bit because they were way too long. They're like a foot long. And so I folded them and then tied them, tied them down. So that way they just reach right here and we're good to go. Now you go ahead and basically you're done. Just tuck this away somewhere. And like I said, if you do want to plug this one in, this addressable RGB connector, you would just plug it in just like that. You match them up. Again, this is another one you cannot really plug it in wrong um, because there's usually only three pins separated by nothing. So just like that. And then basically using the controller, you can, I believe you press like M1 for like three seconds and then it'll switch to using your motherboard software, um, which I don't recommend doing because this box was created for these uh, cables. And so this will give you a lot better and more control versus using your addressable RGB off of your motherboard. So keep that in mind. I will show you both just so you can see Okay, so here you can see I connected this one, the GPU cable, to my software. I am using an Aorus motherboard. It's a B550 Aorus Pro AC. So I am using the software that came with this motherboard, which is the uh, RGB Fusion 2.0. Yours is going to have different effects, so remember that. Mine is, mine is going to be different, and uh, yeah, so on and so forth. This one here, the 24 pin is connected directly to the controller here. So I'm gonna show you when I press this controller button, all the buttons and kinda go through them. And then I'm gonna change up the software version and show you the type of, you know, what you can expect from this. So this is connected to the bottom fans. Um, so they're gonna be basically the same color. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, so if you press this top button, which says M1, it's gonna change the effect. So there's that, that one, that, and then of course RGB, which is probably what I'm gonna have it on most of the time. But here's a reason why this kind of made me think about keeping it this way because the RGB one and this kind of goes up, you know, like that. And then if I want to do the RGB on the software, this one goes that way. So yeah, I just got to turn up the speed a bit. Apply that. And there you go. You can see this one kind of doing its own thing this way and then this one going up. So in a way, maybe it is kind of cool to do this one through software and then this one or, you know, vice versa. But, um, that's kind of how it is. So let's keep going with this M1. So there's another effect. And I believe this S1 is to change the speed. There's five speed settings. So that's the fastest. That's the slowest. And again, you can kind of change up different ones. And then second fastest, third, fourth, and fastest. So Keep pressing M1 and you'll get certain effects, different effects. 
So um, these are static colors. Kind of does its own thing there. So it has a lot of cool, this one's probably one of my favorites, but the reason I don't really like it is because it won't match my fans. I mean, my fans are kind of just RGB and they kind of go in a circle, but maybe we'll see. I mean, that's the cool part about this. You can change it up. So the M2 button just changes the color. So it keeps the effect the same. You can have specific colors. So just like that. So we'll leave it on RGB and then L, let me see. Oh, L will change the brightness. So these are really, really bright compared to my fans. So I keep them on like the third setting just so they're not overpowering the fans. Um, kind of want everything to kind of match as far as brightness goes. So you can press L again. And there's the dimmest second. I think second looks fine. So I'm going to keep it on that. But then because this one is connected to software, it is a bit brighter than this one. So the nice thing about connecting both of them together, you'll have the same effect and all that good stuff. So keep that in mind. Again, as far as software goes, your software is gonna be different. Mine is, mine looks like this. So there's mine. And basically you would grab it and you know, change it to what you want. So that's like a color cycle. And again, you can change the speed. Apply that, let's see. So there's color cycle and like I said I mean there's a lot of different settings but yours is gonna be different so don't take this um, you know to heart because you might not have all of these effects every motherboard is different that's a pretty cool effect actually that's really nice kind of like that one but anyways so that's the software side of things um, originally when I got these I thought these would have their own software with their own you know features and stuff like that which would have been really cool. So, you know, Lee and Lee, if you are watching this, um, that would be really, really cool of you to do because that way we can use your software and change up even more effects, um, which would be really, really awesome. Now, what do I think of these? I actually like them a lot. Um, I think these are awesome. I love them. I mean, as you can see that, you know, I have a lot of RGBs and I absolutely love it. I mean, um, I know a lot of people don't care too much for RGBs, but <laughs> I think it's nice. It sits on my desk, you know, it lights up the room. It just looks cool and why not? You know, I know you're not sitting there staring at your PC unless you are like me. <laughs> but anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Um, if you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Peace.